And statement number three is a word of thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness. We have a thoughtful Savior, a mindful Savior, a, a selfless Savior. John 19, verses 26 and 27. Now, Jesus has been on the cross for some time now. He was on the cross in all, a, a total of six hours, which by crucifixion standards in first century was a relatively short time. And the reason that Jesus was not on the cross as long as a lot of other people is because they beat him nearly to death before they ever put him on there. It, it's, it's, it's horrific to imagine. But he's been on the cross for some time now. And it says when he looked down, he saw his mother there. And he also saw the disciple whom he loved. Uh, this is John standing there nearby. And he said to her, woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that time on, this disciple took her into his home. So John took care of Mary through the, for the rest of her earthly life. Jesus hanging on the cross is not thinking of himself. He's thinking of the well-being of his mother when he sees her. Wow. Jesus was selfless to the end. To the very end and as his disciples we are called to emulate that to have the same attitude the same mindset that Jesus had toward others to the very end of thoughtfulness Philippians chapter 2 is kind of a famous passage when we think about the attitude of Christ that we are called to have uh, Paul writes this in his letter to the Philippians verses 5 through 11 actually were lyrics to a song that the church sang and Paul brought it into scripture this is something that Christians sang about I don't know the tune I don't know how it went but we know that this was a song they sang because they wanted to celebrate this they wanted to be reminded of this all of their days here's what Paul writes in Philippians uh, 2 starting in verse 3 it says do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but to each, or, but each of you to the interests of the others. And then here's where the lyrics begin. Your re in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset or the same attitude as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage or as the NIV that I grew up uh, with something to be grasped or clung to but rather he made himself nothing taking the very uh, nature of a servant and being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and he be or becoming obedient to death even death on a cross Paul, Paul this is very emphatic in the Greek that even death on a cross Paul's saying look he didn't just sacrifice himself as a martyr he died a criminal's death he died the most heinous embarrassing ridiculing death on public display naked stripped beaten and nailed to a cross and lifted up for everyone to see you I mean it's, 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 it's horrific Jesus and Paul says even death on a cross Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and he gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge or confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The early church sang this regularly. He said, that's who we want to be. That's how we want to live. We don't ever want to forget that. We want to have that attitude. And so I just very simply want to just call you to take a moment and reflect on this truth, this, this thoughtfulness of our Savior, this selflessness. You know, in our Selo, we say, okay, we're going to press into the presence of the Lord. We're going to listen. We want to hear His voice. Listen, where might our Lord be calling you 
to be more thoughtful in your relationships with others right now? Is there a relationship that comes to mind? Is there a situation where you're saying, you know what? Let's take one for the team, for the kingdom. <laughs> Let's put self off to the side. How can I be a, more of a blessing? Powerful. That's what it means to walk in this. And